you have just received your RS3, RS2 Plus Complete Combo Kit. Now it is time to set it up for the first time. So you will set up your base on a tripod like we have here. You will set up your rover, which is your RS3, on your GPS pole. You will also attach the LoRa antennas, both on the base and the rover. You will have your controller bracket to mount your controller on, and then you will also put on your controller. You will also have done that on the base and also on the rover. Let's now connect to your base on MLID Flow. You'll go to Wi-Fi. Under Wi-Fi, you will see now the Wi-Fi hotspot of your base, which is the RS2+. Plus. You will select on it, and then it will ask you for a password. The password is MLEDRICH, all small letters. After you've done this, you'll select on Connect. Allow for a few seconds. This will bring up a pop-up notification. When the notification comes up, select on tap for options, select don't ask again, then select yes. You can now close the Wi-Fi menu and then go into MLED Flow. Into MLED Flow, you will see that now your base will become available. You select on it to connect and then it will connect on MLED Flow. You will see that we have configured some settings. So you will see your correction input is off on the base because the base does not receive any corrections. We have configured the corrections to be output from the base and we have configured this to LoRa. Let's now check the rover settings. Let's connect again on Wi-Fi and then this time we're going to select the RS3 rover Wi-Fi network. There you can see the rover now, select on it. It will ask you for a password. The password is the same. MLED reach, all small letters. Then select connect. Same as before, allow for a few seconds for that notification. Tap for options. Don't ask again, then select yes. You only need to do this for the first time. You can now go again on MLED flow. Now your rover will become visible on MLED Flow. Select on it. Now your rover is connected. You will see we have configured the correction input. This has been configured to LoRa and the frequency of 868.0 and 9.11 kilobytes. You will see now uh, the rover is receiving corrections from the base and on the top right we've got a fixed solution. When you've got your fixed solution, you can now proceed to go on to eField and create a project. I will now open eField. To create a project on eField, I'll go under Project. I'll select New. I'll type in the name of my project. I'll select the coordinate system that's applicable to my project. This will now give me the parameters of the coordinate system that I've selected. Once happy with them, I'll select Accept. In the Southern Hemisphere, we use a coordinate display order of East-North. This is the case, and then I'm going to select OK. My project is now created. You will also see the rover is also connected, and I've got a fixed solution. This is done under Configurations and under Connect. You will see we've got the settings selected here. The rover is communicating via Bluetooth and we've also selected the RS3 rover antenna type. So we also have auto connect set to yes. This means that whenever you open the eField application, it automatically connects to your rover.